Okay, listen. I'm limping along with this thing with my dad. He never apologized to me. Never admitted that he did anything wrong. My mother knew what he was doing, never helped me. She abandoned me. He abused me. They're getting up in years. They lived a few hundred miles away from us, and I liked it just fine. They lived somewhere where they couldn't really... I didn't have to have them in my life very much, and so we'd maybe go on holiday to be nice because after all, I'd forgiven him. But I didn't stay long, got away from him as quick as I could get away from him. Threw a little money at him once in a while because they were older and that was it. Still had that little. <laughs> and so I'm praying one morning. <laughs> It's amazing what God says when you're praying. I'm praying one morning and clearly I felt the Holy Spirit put in my heart, your parents are getting older now, neither one of them are in good health, they don't have decent doctors where they're at, you need to bring them to your city where you live and you need to buy them a nice little house, put them in it and take care of them until they die. I said, I rebuke you, Satan. I was 100% convinced that there was no way that God would ask me to do that. I mean, like a rage came up out of me at the very thought. Next time I prayed, there it was again. God, surely you're not going to make me do this. Then I did this one. What have they ever done for me? And I heard the Lord say, you're breathing, aren't you? <laughs> they gave you life. You're here on the planet. Well, long story short, I went to Dave to see if he would tell me no. I thought, there is no way that Dave is going to want to take the little money that we finally got saved and go buy my unkind, miserable parents a house. Of course, Dave, wonderful Dave, he looks at me and he says, well, you know, if that's what God's telling you, you better do it. <laughs> okay, fast forward. We bought the house, started out trying to buy a little ugly house. That didn't work. Put a bunch of used furniture in it, buy them a half worn out car. No, no, no. We had to get a nice car. We had to get new furniture. We had to get a nice house. We had the grass mowed every week. We sent, paid somebody to get their groceries every week. We took them to their doctor's appointments. Oh, they just had a nice life. And nobody ever even said, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, three years went by. One morning, my mother called and she said, your dad's been crying for three weeks. He says he wants to talk to you. So I went over, tears streaming down his face. He's a little old guy, you know, on this walker. He says, I just need to tell you, <laughs> I just need to tell you how sorry I am for what I did to you when you were a little girl. He said, now listen, he said, I knew it was wrong, but I really didn't know how bad it was going to hurt you. You see, he grew up in an incestuous family. Now, let me tell you something. Hurting people hurt people. He knew it was wrong. No excuse for what he did. So he's crying and crying. And I put my arms around him. Dave was there. I said, Daddy, it's okay. I forgive you. I've forgiven you a long time ago. And this is what he said. Remember, remember that we bought the house three years before. He said, I've wanted to say this to you for three years but I wasn't man enough. I asked him if he wanted to be saved. Do you think I can? Could God forgive me? We worked through that. We prayed the prayer of salvation with him. He cried some more. And then he said, I would really like for you to baptize me. Would you baptize me? Yes! So 
So Dave and I baptized him, took him to our little inner city church and baptized him. And when he came up out of the baptismal fount on his little walker, they brought him down and he goes across the front of the church and he looks out at the congregation. He says, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Something I never thought I would hear my dad say. Now, let me tell you something. He died four years ago, but I know that he's watching this meeting in heaven today and he's totally okay with me telling his story because he doesn't want you to ruin your life with bitterness and resentment against somebody who hurt you, maybe not even as bad as he hurt me or maybe worse.